Hello, uh, today we're going to work with solving equations with the variable on both sides of the equal sign. Uh, some people like to model an equation with the variable on both sides using algebra tiles. Uh, they are what these little uh, objects are. If you have a, a little yellow square that has a plus sign in it, it's a plus one. If you have a little uh, red square with a negative sign, it is a negative one. And if you have a bar, that's usually your variable. A positive would be yellow, and again, the negative would be red. Uh, but it's a bar for the variable. So these stand for one units each, and this stands for your variables. Uh, what they've done is they've modeled in picture form uh, the algebra tiles for this equation of x plus 5 equals 3x minus 1. And you'll see that we have one bar that's positive, so that's your 1x. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, five yellow squares, and that stands for 5. On this side, and this is thought of as the equal sign, uh, there are three bars, so there are three x's, and then there's one negative block, so it's mi that's a negative 1, or minus 1. And so when you see it like this, you want to try to get the variable on one side of the equal sign and the number on the other side of the equal sign, just like we have done in the past. Um, you get to decide which side you want the variable on. Do you want it on the left or do you want it on the right? Well, when I take a look at these, I notice that there are three variables here and only one here. So it would be so much easier if I could just take this variable and move it so that it's no longer here, so I can get rid of this one. To get rid of it, I would have to subtract it, take it off, and I would have to take this one off as well. When I do that, they're no longer there. And so I have only the plus 5 here, and I have two bars and the negative here. Okay? So uh, the other thing I want to do is I want to have variables on one side and numbers on the other. Well, I have variables only on this side. So it makes sense that I would take this red negative and I would add one yellow one to it, and that would get rid of it. But remember, what we do to one side, we have to do to the other. So if I'm adding this yellow one, then I need to add this yellow one as well. Okay? So that uh, negative and a positive, those are zero pairs, and it's gone. This one, I've added it to five others, and I know that I have now have six. So I have six equals 2x. Okay? Now, I can take and I can divide these into two groups because I have two x's. And if I divide these into two groups, so this is also into two groups. If two groups are six, one group would be what? Right. So one group is equal to three tiles. So 1x is equal to 3. Okay, so that means my solution, x, is equal to 3. There's a mathematical way to doing this because we're not always going to have the time to draw out algebra tiles. Um, but the mathematical way would be solving an equation um, by using um, the inverse operations that we used with two-step equations. Uh, let's see, so our first one here is Andy's rental car charges an annual initial fee of $20 plus an additional fee of $30 per day to rent a car. The uh, Buddy's rental car uh, charges the initial fee of $36 plus an additional $28 per day. For what number of days is the total cost charged by both companies the same? So we're looking at um, for Andy's rental. So for Andy's, 20 plus an additional $30 uh, per day. So we know that it was $20 plus $30 per day. And then we know for Buddy, 
he charged $36 plus an additional $28 per day. So his would be 36 plus 28x. And they want to know for what number of days is the total cost the same. So they want to know when are these two equal to each other. So I found my expression for Andy's and my expression for Buddy's, and then I just made them equal. When we do that, we notice that we have a variable on both sides. It's the same variable, so that makes it easier. Uh, one thing that we need to do is decide which side we want the variable on and which side we want the numbers on. Personally, I like to um, have positive variables whenever possible. Some people just like to have them on the left side and then the numbers on the right. Um, either way, it works just fine. In this case, we're moving an entire term. So because we're only moving an entire term, we're actually going to subtract the entire term from both sides. So I'm going to move this 28x by subtracting it on both sides. So 28x minus 28x is now 0. So the only thing left here is my 36. And over here I have my 20. And then 30 minus 28 is 2x. Now you'll notice I only have a variable on one side. And so now I'm just going to do my usual two-step equation uh, solution. So I'm going to get rid of the 20 by subtracting 20 from both sides. So that 20 is gone. I only have 2x left on the left. And then 36 minus 20 is 16. This is multiplication. The inverse operation is division. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2. And x is going to equal to 8. So the question was, for what number of days is the total cost the same? It would be 8 days. You could always check this by replacing the x with 8 and making sure that that does equal the same amount. Uh, here's a your turn. A water tank holds 256 gallons but is leaking at a rate of 3 gallons per week. A second water tank holds uh, 384 gallons but is leaking at a rate of 5 gallons per week. How many weeks will the amount of water in the tank be about the same? So I know that tank 1 holds 256 gallons, but is leaking, so that means going out, at a rate of 3 gallons per week. So 3 gallons per week. And they want to know when it's going to be the same, so I'm going to go ahead and put my equal sign there. Tank 2 ha holds 384 gallons but is leaking, and again, leaking means it's going out, so we're going to subtract at a rate of 5 gallons per week, so 5 gallons per week. And now they want to know about how many uh, weeks the water would be the same. So go ahead and work that out. Okay, after you've worked this out, you should have W equals 64, which means it's going to take about 64 weeks uh, for them to both have the same amount of uh, water in the in the tanks. You could have added 3 to both sides and you still should have gotten 64 as your answer. Okay. All right, let's go next. Uh, here we just have some uh, simple equations. I have x plus 4 equals negative x minus 4. I need to decide which side I want the variable on. And uh, this one's positive, this one's negative. If I add x to both sides, um, this one would remain positive. So I'm going to add an x and add an x. Because I x plus x, that's two x's. And I'm going to bring everything else down. Uh, x minus x is 0, so I now have a negative 4. I don't want to lose this subtraction. I want to make sure it comes down as well. Okay. So now I have 2x plus 4 equals negative 4. I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides. 2x is equal to negative 4 minus 4. It's the same thing as negative 4 plus a negative 4. Two negatives added together. And I'm going to get negative 8. Divide by 2. 
x is going to equal negative 4. Okay, you do the next one. Okay, you had two choices. You could add an x to both sides, and that would be negative 3 plus 1x, which would be negative 2x. Or I could take and add 3x to both sides, and that would be 0, add 3x to this, and that would be a positive 2x, which is what I'm choosing to do. So I'm going to add 3x to both sides. Negative 1x plus positive 3x is 2x. Now I have 2 equals 2x minus 8. I'm going to move the 8 next by adding it. Because I moved the x here, I don't want to move the x again because then that just creates another step I don't need. So I'm going to move this 8. And then I get 10 equals 2x. Divide by 2. x is equal to 5. Okay. Here is a real world problem. At Silver Gym, the membership is $25 per month and the personal training sessions are $30 each. At Fit Factor, membership is $65 per month and the personal training sessions are $20 each. In one month, how many personal training sessions would Sarah have to buy to make the total cost at the two gyms equal? So I need to come up with an expression for Silver Gym, and then I need to come up with an expression for Fit Factor. And because I want to know when they're equal, I'm going to make an equation where Silver Gym expression equals the Fit Factor expression. You should have got the expression 25 plus 30x 30, 30 for the Silver Gym membership, and then 65 plus 20x should be for the Fit Factor um, a membership for each month. Okay, So they want to know how many tr tr personal training sessions would Sarah have to buy to make the total cost equal, and that's why there's equal sign between. I have to decide which side I want my uh, variable to be on, and I am choosing to move the 20x over here. If I subtract 30x from 20x, I would get a negative 10x. If I subtract 20x from 30x, I get a positive 10x. And so that's why I choose to subtract 20x from each side. And so I get 25 plus 10x is equal to 65 because this is now gone. Now I have to move the numbers over to the right because I've decided that my variable is going to be on the left by the choice I made at the beginning. So I'm going to subtract 25 to move it from here. Always making sure I do the same thing on both sides. And that's going to give me 40. So 10x equals 40. I'm going to divide by 10. x is going to equal 40 divided by 10 is 4. So it would take four personal training sessions uh, for the both gyms to be equal. So four, four training sessions. Remember when you're working with real world problems, it's a good idea to have a label with your answer. Okay, we have Derek's dog sitting and Darlene's dog sitting are competing for a new business. The company ran the ads shown. Um, you'll have questions for each for A and B. Let's see if you can get the answers. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.